I know it's a big effect. Think you know TV and film? I think again. And now, Masterpiece Theatre presents Classical Films and TV by Sir Edelot and Lady Timothy. <laughs> now for a little backstory. In 1954, the United States tested their new hydrogen bombs, Little Boy and Batman, across the Pacific. Until one of them woke something up. Godzilla, the giant fire breathing iguana monster. From 1954 to 2005, Godzilla has used Tokyo as its personal playground where the fighting monsters, aliens, or just the human race. Godzilla is constantly destroying everything. Well, he went through a phase where he wanted to say everything a couple of times and even had a son. But those are the only other things we don't talk about. What about the other American movie? Anyway, Godzilla was made by Toho, a Japanese film company founded in 1930 by Ichizo Kobayashi. Godzilla is probably Toho's biggest star, with Mothra coming in at a close second. The Godzilla movies come under the category of Tokusatsu, which really means any live action film that uses a considerable amount of special effects. But it's not one of the monster movies. In the first movie, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, there is no other monster, it's just Godzilla. This one was a lot darker than the other films, simply because of the atmosphere. It was dark and at some points even kind of scary. The next movie does away with that, though, and brings in another monster, Angus. That's how it's pronounced, John. Most of the movies were like this until movies such as Son of Godzilla, where everything got a little child friendly. Godzilla becomes friends with the Earth, which leads to the movies to stop until 1984. The return of Godzilla as he fights humanity yet again, but afterwards he starts fighting other monsters again, like Mecha Godzilla and Space Godzilla. So many Godzillas. 
then, whilst again the series ends in 1995, to be picked up again in the Millennium series, starting up with Godzilla 2000, all the way to the final movie ever made, Godzilla Final Wars, where Godzilla takes on everybody, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of monsters. But if I'm honest about my favourite, we have to go back to the original series and look at Godzilla vs. Megalon. And there are a few reasons why this was my childhood favourite. Godzilla's in it. Get to God's theme song. Godzilla's in it. This drop kick. And Godzilla's in it. Categories you can watch whatever you want. It's, it's, it's a lot easier when the internet don't keep like, packing off because it does on my phone when I play it. So, yeah. Okay. How much do you think tickets at a movie cinema would cost? Well, the current, current prices are between £7 and £10. Yeah. I should think they're still value for money. Seven pounds. Hmm. Wednesdays, two quid. Um, I mean, on average. <laughs> I don't know. Probably about six quid. Six yeah. pounds. Do, do you think it should be any cheaper? Yes. How? How much? Hmm. Three pounds. Two pounds. Six pounds. Isn't it? Six five pounds. How much do you think it should be? How much do you think it should be? It should be about five pound, I think. Do you have a favourite film? Um, Saving Mr. Banks. Okay. Yeah. Um, why is it your favourite film? Because it's a great story and um, it's 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 quite emotional sometimes. So. Uh, I'd probably say Secret Life of the Wild Mitty. It was a um, really inspirational. Mm. Yeah, not really, no. 
Do you watch foreign films, and if so, what? No. No. Um, no, not really. Not really. Is there a reason why? What do you mean, American films? No, is it is oh, like okay. a Chinese or No, French so I just can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> Thank you, you git. And now, on to our interview with our specialist. Welcome to Do You Think You Know Film and TV? I'm Edwin Harley, this is Paul Dixburn, our guest. Welcome to the show. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Can we do that? Ah, that's a good start. Now, <laughs> yeah, let's get straight into it. Do you do any work outside of college? If so, what kind of work? Oh well, I, I do the odd, um, I dibble and dabble in different things. And, you know, I um, I, I do some like this and directing at the weekend occasionally, just for small things, nothing big. I, uh, like you know the new Avengers film, that's it, no, nothing big. Um, and um, do some modelling and stuff. You know, it's, it's a little bit of YouTube in. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. When did you take an interest in films? Oh, that that that's that's, that's always been an interest of mine. Mainly because I, 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 I don't have a life. Um, <laughs> best oh, you want me there? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's been years and years. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say since at least the year 2000. Uh, what part of films do you enjoy making the most? Oh, well, I've, I've got to say it, it's, it's the actual filming part. It, it's just, it's always fun just to be on the set, you know. Have all the people around you just all having a laugh, no matter what type of film it is. Um, like the other week, I, I did horror, and it it was um, it was hilarious. Um, the, this girl, we, we just pushed her over a couple of times. It was hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bully felt good. Oh no, 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 she she had she she signed the contract. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, see what kind of person you're going to grow up to be. What kind of film do we prefer to make? Action, drama? Oh, I would, I would say action comedy, just because, you know, you can punch someone in the face and it's funny, but that's funny anyway. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just the most fun to actually film and make. Um, it, you, you know, you can't really go wrong with action comedy, because even if you just make it slapstick, it is, it's going to be humorous. Uh, so, to finish it off, what is your favourite movie? Oh, it's a tough one. I, I, I think it's the new Postman Pat movie. It's just a beautiful. Um... <laughs> what are you doing about that? No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me, what is your favourite thing about Postman Pat? Oh, well, it's just it's it's a beautiful cinematic event. It it, it brought a tear to my eye, and I've heard that um, you know they're bringing out a new Noddy movie as well, and I I was ecstatic when that. I sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional. Um, it it's. Yeah, uh, the new mo not a music. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I know. We might actually find out whether it's a boy or a girl. It's that. It's I know. I I wanted to know this. No, we don't allow him to see babies. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> been um, Paul Dishford on. Do you think you know film and TV? It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. And good day.